Do you ever have those days where you're just feeling super overwhelmed with everything? Sometimes you don't even know what's overwhelming you. You just have so many different thoughts, so many different things to do. You're just all over the place. Well, then you came to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys five actionable things that you can do that's good for the mind in terms of goal setting, having good healthy habits, just getting better every day. So let's get into it. If you don't know me, hi. My name is Riss and I make videos on powerlifting, mindset, and other cool stuff. So if you're new here, welcome. The first thing you can do is create a clear vision. When you have a whole bunch of goals that you want to achieve and things you want to do in your life and you don't have a clear cut vision and goal and a path to how you're going to get there, of course things are going to feel quite overwhelming and uncertain for you. Okay, I'm going to go into step-by-step -step how to break down your goals into actionable steps. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start with, what do I want? So start really thinking what's important to you and what's a goal that you have, and you're going to write those down. So here I have, I want to be a competitive power lifter. I want to grow my YouTube channel and I want to buy a house. So then you're going to take each of those goals. So I'm going to start off with, I want to be a competitive power lifter. And you're going to think about how. So how am I going to accomplish this thing that I want? I write out all the different hows, so really thinking, how can I achieve this goal of mine? So I wrote, get strong, train hard, eat and sleep well. Then what I do is I start breaking these down even further. So what specifically am I going to be doing on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis to actually accomplish these hows? So that would be following a program. Then I break that down even further. That's going to be specifically the Texas method is the program. Then when it comes to training hard, how many times per week? Then with proper nutrition, I write, what does that look like? And how am I going to accomplish that? So that's going to be my meal prepping. And I just keep on making a flow chart and breaking these things down into specifics. Because the more specific you are, the greater of a chance you have to actually follow everything. So be specific. And this is what it ends up looking like. It can be a lot more detailed as you spend more time on it. So feel free to take a screenshot and use it as an example if you'd like. Take the time to map out your goals and create a system for it. So figure out what you really do want and what's actually meaningful and important to you and then you're going to figure out how to get there by breaking it down into what you need to do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Now, the second thing you can do that's really great for the mind is moving your body. And when your body feels good, your mind feels good. It's I was reading this thing that your mind and body are actually really quite connected and if one is not feeling good chances are the other one's not feeling good so if your mind isn't feeling so good make your body feel good and it will they're connected and they're linked but moving your body can be a bunch of different things as you can see here i am lifting some weights i'm power lifting and i am doing squats and due to an injury that i've had this weight did cause me some more back pain so i'm going to knock down the intensity quite a bit but this is just what i did um, the other week some other things you can do is you can go for a walk outside you can even just stretch maybe you like doing yoga swimming any kind of cardio so really there's a lot of different ways you can move your body and you have to figure out what is fun for you and something that you'll look forward to because if you don't like it and you're not having fun you're not going to stick with it when you exercise your central nervous system releases chemicals called endorphins these are essentially feel-good hormones that just trigger positive feelings reduce stress and all that good stuff and also another thing people don't realize is when you exercise and you are active, it actually makes you less tired. And you think, hmm, Riss, that doesn't really make sense because I'm exercising more, so wouldn't I have less energy? But actually, no, because when you exercise and you improve cardiovascular health, it improves your body's ability to circulate oxygen more efficiently. And that's just going to help your body be able to use energy better and just be more efficient. So it actually increases your energy. It does the opposite of what you think. So if you're feeling kind of tired and sluggish, Move your body and do this on a regular basis and I'm telling you, you'll see a difference. The third thing you can do and something that I have been doing for a long time now that I've seen a huge help is doing weekly and monthly reflections. So this is just for you to take time to yourself, sit down and reflect on all the different things that you outlined that you need to do for the week and see, okay, what things did I miss out on that I didn't do and how can I change this for the weeks going forward? And also with monthly as well. So figuring out, okay, what goals did I set for myself throughout the month? And if I was not able to meet those goals, 
why, what happened, what roadblocks or what obstacles did I run into and how can I fix that going forward. So when you really just look and check in with your goals and what your to-dos are on a weekly and monthly basis, it prevent you from really falling behind. So let's say you had a bad week and you weren't able to keep up with your to-dos. It's all good, but at least you caught it right at the end of the week and you know what to improve for the week after. So this is just going to allow you to stay on that good flow, catch something when, you know, or, or figure out when something's not working out and make that adjustment so you'll be good going forward. And even just at the beginning of the week, so on a Sunday when I plan out what I need to do for the week to come, it just really helps me have that kind of clear vision when I start getting overwhelmed and things like that. I just go to that list that I made for myself and I'm like, okay, as long as I'm doing these things throughout the week and I'm getting my shit done, then it's okay. I shouldn't be, there's nothing for me to stress about. And sometimes when your brain just sees it written on paper, it really helps to say, you know what? Like it's going well, it's okay. I wonder if at my age it's still appropriate to drink chocolate milk. Of course it is. I'm gonna make a short little video about how I make this chocolate milk because it's really good. Damn. The fourth thing you can do is to pair two good habits into one. So it's kind of like you're, you know, killing two birds with one stone here and you're doing something that you, if you did these things separately, you might not have had time for. So for example, here you see me um, putting in my earbuds. I am going to be listening to a podcast while I am walking, going for a walk. And actually in this case, I was listening to an audiobook called The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. Highly recommend you give that one a listen or a read. And so this is just great because I'm able to cross off being active as well as, you know, doing something to contribute to my personal development and just my learning as well. So if you don't have time to, you know, go for a walk and then do reading, for example, because I just find for me, it's really difficult to find time to read in the day to day. So listening to an audiobook is just makes a lot more sense. And then when I pair it with something like working out, you could even pair it with doing yoga doing something where you're active maybe while you're meal prepping you could put on a podcast or an audiobook in the background something i wanted to say is if you're going to be using earbuds only put one in instead of both because this way you can really just hear your surroundings if there's cars if there's other people it's just good to be aware of your surroundings at all times because i see a lot of people with like the big headphones where they have both in and I know with my headphones, if I both in, I can't hear anything. Pair two habits into one and it will just help you be a lot more efficient and then you feel just like twice as productive. The other day, it was the first day of spring and I am just so excited for it. I'm so done with winter. And it's also just better for the sake of time. And when you're able to save time and be more efficient, there's a greater chance you're gonna stick to it. If something requires a huge time commitment and it's just really out of your way and doesn't make sense with your schedule, there's no way you're gonna be able to stick with now, it. Now the fifth thing you can do is to have a creative side project. So this is going to be something that you, whenever you have some free time, you can work on to really just get your mind creative and do something that you look forward to and that you love to do. And so for me, that's working on creating YouTube videos like these, uh, editing, scripting, filming, all that good stuff that you can see I'm doing here. Having a creative side project really just helps with keeping my mind active, keeping me motivated as well. When there's free time available, instead of just going on social media for hours, this way I actually have something productive to fill that time with and it's something that I actually look forward to doing. And that puts us to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching the whole video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you learn a couple things and I'm not saying do all these five things starting right now. Just first incorporate one or two and then once you got that a habit and in your routine, then you can add more and more and I find these five things I do on a regular basis and have been doing for a really long time and it's just helped me so much with my own growth and goals and everything like that and when it comes to having a healthy body you got to have a healthy mind as well if you guys like these kind of videos let me know in the comments down below and I hope that you guys have a killer day bye